Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we enlisted the help of Mumbo to revive a whole bunch of people here on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. And in this episode, we're now going to enlist the help of Hubba here in order to use the transformation of this world. So, let's go ahead and enter Wubba's Wigwam here and trade her a Globo for a transformation. You have Globo. Want to give to Hubba? Yes, we do. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump in Wamba Pool. Wamba call this snowball. Use left stick to move and hold X for big heap roll attack. Yeah, uh, the weird thing about this power hubba, you kind of forgot all my health. Where's my health? I'm at 1 HP. This is pretty dangerous. So the gimmick with the snowball is that in a cold area, once you roll around the snow, you will gain a lot of your health back and becoming bigger the more health you have. But if you're in contact with fire or any heat in general, you lose all your health and then become a very small snowball. So that is the trade-off to this ability. But here we want to go ahead and push our way through as much as possible here because this is how you get this Jinjo. It is not easy whatsoever to get this Jinjo, but just keep on pushing and you'll finally get the creature. So there you go. We got it. We can come up here and we can fit into this little hole, which is very convenient for us. And now we're in the fire side. So we need to get moving here because we don't have much time for this thing to survive in lava. So we need to get moving because you want to come into this area here and go as fast as possible to come out to the other side. And if you feel like you lost too much health, you come up here and there's some snow and you can regain your health at this point. So there we go. We wanted to do all that because... This switch here, we weren't having enough to hit. Now we are. Let's see if there's anything worth digging up down there. So once we have enough weight, we can go ahead and activate this crane here, which would dig us up a jiggy. Unfortunately for us though, there's no good place for this jiggy to be dropped, so once this thing digs up the Jiggy, it just spits it back out in the pipe that's connecting it back into Grunty Industries. So we'll have to get that Jiggy here a little bit later because our snowball, it, it kind of can't fit in that little alcove that the Jiggy's in. So we'll definitely keep that in mind for a little bit later. But for now, let's go ahead and warp our way back over to where Webba's hut is because up here, we've got a very narrow passageway we can go ahead and climb on, but... This is a giant switch we couldn't hit until we were the full size snowball. Once we do so, we have access to the train station on the other side here of Hailfire Peak. So now we have access to the train station in both the fire side and the icy side of Hailfire. But that's pretty much everything we can do with the snowball. It's really just one switch to hit for a jiggy and one switch to hit for a train. So it's not really that much. Now, you may be wondering this whole time, what was the point of that little fire pit right next to Wubba's hut? And that was just so you can get back in as the snowball. The snowball can only enter in Wubba's hut when you're at 1 HP, the smallest size possible. It's kind of annoying if you want to be honest. Maybe a faster way at that point would just be to go ahead and just take the damage at that point. But yeah, that is a weird way to do it, but it, it worked out in our favor. So there you go. That is that. Let's go ahead and separate Banjo-Kazooie here and use our warp pad here to make our way back over to the top side of the icy side of Hailfire because we want that Jiggy we just dug up earlier. So be careful here not to get beat up too much and we want to make our way back over to this crane and this guy's really determined. He really wants to kick Banjo's butt. We don't want that to happen. So we need to use our new backpack move we learned on the fire side of Hailfire to fit in this very, very small little cutout in this pipe. Luckily for us, we can go ahead and make way into Grunty Industries here and grab our Jiggy. Now here's something to note, and I want to do this right away. If we go to view totals here, as you can see in Grunty Industries, we have 8 out of 10 Jiggies. The second we collect this, 
you would think, oh, we just got ourselves another Jiggy in Grunty Industries. Well, if we go back to our totals, it's still at 8 out of 10. That Jiggy counted towards Hailfire Peak's completion. This is really confusing because we've had another instance where we've come into a world from a different entryway and going into a world from another world, it gave us that Jiggy for the world we enter. So this is like the one time in the whole game where they don't do that. This is the one time where we enter this world and we get the Jiggy from the world we came from. It's kind of confusing, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, that counted towards this one, so we didn't get any progression towards grunty industry stuff. We just got progression here. A little weird, but again, keep that in mind. But that's everything we can do here in the icy side. So we want to make our way back over to the fire side here, and we want to actually make our way into the train station now because we opened up a train station on the icy side, and that train can actually lead us to a jiggy over there that we can't reach in any other way. So we want to make our way over here to the train station and we want to use the train to go from the fire side of Hailfire Peaks all the way to the icy side and get that jiggy we can't collect right now. So let's go ahead and call Chuffy over here. Chuffy is on freight service to Grunty Industries. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yes, please. I really like the camera angle here for the train leaving Grunty Industries. Just that zoom into the side of the tires on the very front of the train, that just looks so good to me. I really like that shot of the wheels. But here's our train. As you can see from that camera, we have a honeycomb piece we can go ahead and get here. We haven't explored this train station until now. We could have got that a lot earlier, but I decided since we need to come here at this point, because we need to go from a train station to a train station, we might as well get that honeycomb piece once we make our way back from the icy side. So let's go ahead and use our train here and make our way over to the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. Sorry, but I can't go there. The sudden drop in temperature would crack my boiler. And it'd be curtains for me. However, if you can find a way to cool my boiler a little... Ah, that's interesting. So this is actually the first and only time in the whole game where Chuffy refuses to go somewhere because there's an issue with it. So in this case, we can't go to the icy side because it's too cold and would crack the boiler. So we need to find a way to basically cool down the train and make it so that that cold temperature drop won't really affect things. So there is definitely a way for us to do that. It's our old friend from the first game. Remember from the first game, Banjo-Kazooie? We met ourselves a friend named Gobi. He went around all these different worlds trying to find a lava world, but the whole time, he stockpiled a whole bunch of water in his body so he can survive in the said lava world. Well, we're gonna need his water. So, this Jiggy, we couldn't have actually gotten if we didn't save our friend back in Witchy World. So. Because we saved our camel friend back in Witchy World, we can go ahead and enlist his help, no matter if he wants it or not, to go ahead and cool down our train so we can get this Jiggy on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. So in order to get to our friend, we need the claw shoes to come up to this little cave entrance, which has put us on the top of the train station here in Hailfire Peaks. And let's go ahead and use our Wonder Wing here to make this a little bit easier so we don't get burnt or crisp anymore. And let's enter the top portion here of the train station. Because up here is our camel friend. Hey, buddy. Can I use your water? Thank you. Oh, no. It took me since the last game to save that. Ah, oh, yes. That seems to have cooled my boiler enough. I'll let you take the chuffin' train to the ice side now. Please. Not my precious water again. Sorry, we need that water, buddy. It's ours now. So, now that we have the boiler cooled down, we can go ahead and use this train to go to the icy side. So, let's go ahead and do so. In a very weird way. Okay, I've never seen Banjo bounce off the door frame like that before. That's a first. 
Let's just use this go pad and once again, trying to make our way over to the icy side. This time, however, we're not going to get told that we can't go. So, let's actually make our way back to the icy side now with our big old train in hand. That ginger's in a really bad spot. You're right in the middle of train tracks there, dude. That doesn't end well if you're in the middle of a train track. There we go. Train has stopped, so now we can go ahead and get out. And... Well, that ginger we were just talking about... Well, for one, he's nowhere near the actual train, so he's safe. But now he's orange. That already tips you off, but... If you want more proof that that's a Minjo, let's go and view our totals. And we have all five Jinjos. I think at this point you know what's going to happen. Get out of here, you stupid Minjo. Let's go ahead and get ourselves our Jiggy here. And that will do it. That's our final Jiggy we can collect in the Hailfire Peaks area. Or at least that's all we can do from the Hailfire Peaks world itself. Because as you can see, we have nine out of ten Jiggies. We're missing one, and that one Jiggy we actually need to get from Pterodactyl Land, actually. So this one's a little bit weird because this is a Jiggy where you have to get from a different world. So let's go ahead and make our way back into the train. And now inside the train, let's go ahead and make our way back over to the train station in Pterodactyl Land. This is why I would recommend you leave this Jiggy here the one in the train station to be your last collected Jiggy before you need to do the backtracking trip to Pterodactyl Land. Getting the Jiggy from the Icy Side train station is very convenient just to jump from this train station back to Pterodactyl Land's train station, making the backtracking trip a lot easier on you. So now once we do this, we'll be back here in our fifth world of the game, and now we're gonna go from fifth world back to the seventh world for one more Jiggy. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So unfortunately, there's nothing else for us to really do for Pterodactyl Land's Jiggies. There's still one more we need to collect here, but we can't get that Jiggy just yet. So we're really just here to get our final Jiggy from Hailfire Peaks. So we want to go ahead and make our way over to the warp pad here in the very beginning portion of Pterodactyl Land. And we want to use this warp to get back to the stomping planes, because now we can actually fully complete this area. And doing so will actually give us the Jiggy for Hailfire. So, last time we were here, we can only either make it through this area with Banjo and Kazooie, or Kazooie by herself. We couldn't actually get through the Stomping Plains with Banjo by himself, because there is no way to cross this entire field without taking damage at least once, so we're gonna have to be very careful here. But if we do take damage, strangely enough, I didn't actually get crushed there, which is kind of weird. The hitbox was a little weird on that guy's foot. But we can go ahead and now recover health, so... We want to go ahead and do so. Luckily, getting stomped here will only take us down to 1 HP, and then getting hit again will kill us. But as long as we have any more than 1 HP on us at all times, we can survive the trip over to the other side of the stomping planes. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get enough HP at this point so we can survive getting crushed. So let's go ahead and recover one more honeycomb, wait for that to stomp, and then get out of here. So now with Banjo by himself, we want to go ahead and hit this switch, and then it opens up the way to the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. What if we try to go there with just Banjo? Well, we get this message. Hey, Banjo. You're not leaving this world without me. Yeah, so I never really had a good chance to ever really show that, but if you try to leave a world with just one of the two characters, the other one gets upset and says, Hey, no, don't do that. I'm coming with you. So, we could try to cross that entire field with just Kazooie by herself again, but there is actually this dropout point that you're supposed to take from the other side to get back to the warp point here, so you can go ahead and converge back with your characters or use the other path to swap around, but luckily for us, Kazooie could just backflip up here, and while that is a slope surface, you can actually make it up that said slope surface. It is a little awkward, but it is possible to climb up here. So, let me just go ahead and jump up this slope, and now we made it through the loading zone, and even failing it all that many times, that was still quicker than trying to cross this area with just Kazooie by herself. 
So that is something very interesting you can do once you have the backflip move with Kazooie. So there you go, that is 71 Jiggies. And if we go into our total here, as you can see, this is the final Jiggy for Hailfire Peaks. So now we have 100% completed our seventh world in the game. And that is that. This is actually a Jiggy we could have seen from the other side, but it's really hard to see from out this window. So uh, yeah, not gonna be able to easily see it from this point, but this is definitely the icy side and definitely high up in the icy side. But there you go. That's every Jiggy here in this world. And now we are done here. So there's only one more world for us to go ahead and explore in this game. And we're going to go ahead and find the entrance to that said world in the next episode. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we'll find our next world to explore here in the game. I'll see you guys next time.